What is the status currently of your lawsuit against Google? Yeah, so we have successfully concluded two uh, lawsuits defending and protecting really our invention, our intellectual property. Uh, and we have a third right now, as you mentioned, against Google. Um, and that is uh, set for trial in February. So we're looking forward to having this uh, resolved and feeling very confident about that. Patrick, did you hear anything um, from Sundar Pichai at the tech hearing, or did you see anything within those documents that we were just talking about that helps your case that shows that Google has or could steal intellectual property or unfairly compete against smaller rivals? Well, so uh, there, there's a few dimensions of this one that I'll take you through. The first is that, you know, we really, we have to, as a company, innovate and execute, and we've proven um, this quarter to do that again. So feel good about that. The second is defending our intellectual property, like we're doing against um, Google, like we've done against two other companies that uh, infringed on our intellectual property. And then really the third is standing up to, you know, represent the industry and really represent entrepreneurship, innovation, um, and competition in the United States. And so I did testify in front of the subcommittee back in January, um, you know, and, and I think really from what I saw last week, I completely agree um, with Chair Cicilline uh, and everybody that was talking from the subcommittee about the fact that we simply have too much power in too few hands. And what I saw, um, you know, you and Steve were talking about, was there a smoking gun? You know, um, Jeff did admit to the fact that they sell echoes under price, right, under cost. And so, that, something like that, we actually have regulations against today. That is predatory pricing. That is the diapers.com situation. Google's doing the same thing in terms of the way that they both infringe our intellectual property and they're as well selling below cost those products. So there, there are actually rules on the books today. And I really think that um, this subcommittee is doing great work because they're bringing to the forefront the facts that um, ultimately this is about entrepreneurship, competition and innovation, things that we hold dear. So what do you want to see then in terms of regulation? Do some or all of these companies need to be broken up in some way? Well, I, I do think it would be, um, I, I would welcome, you know, uh, companies spinning out their hardware businesses and competing head to head as opposed to using their monopoly in one particular area to subsidize the cost of their products in another, as we see today. And that's that goes exactly to what uh, Chair Cicilline and the subcommittee has talked about in terms of thinking about um, too much power in too few hands. And so I think uh, entrepreneurship, I think new business starts would improve. I think all of you know um, that ultimately new business starts are at a 30 year low. We have half the number of public companies as 25 years ago. I mean, we have a real issue here in terms of competition, entrepreneurship, uh, and making sure that we're set up for the future.